What's up, everybody? It's your man, Lukey, and I made the drive. This is the Sea Ranch Golf Links vlog. So the first thing I have to tell you about Sea Ranch Golf Links is nothing pertaining to golf. It reminds me of The Secret Garden, a movie that I watched as a child about uh, basically a hike. From what I remember, maybe the movie's not like this, but I remember they went, some young kids go on a hike and they find a secret enchanting place and a movie breaks out from that premise. Sea Ranch Golf Links is just as much about the journey to get to the place as it is the golf course. It's not for someone that's just looking to shoot a low score or whatever. This is exploration golf. This is for the people that want to go and find something that's obscure and have an experience. That's what this is. I personally probably am going to turn out to be a Robert Muir Graves architect scholar because I grew up playing Buchanan Fields and Franklin Canyon, both designed by Robert Muir Graves. This, along with Quail Lodge, feel like his crowning achievements as an architect. And the course, not unlike a lot of courses that I've played recently, Lincoln Park comes to mind, is short but very difficult, and it's very narrow, and the winds at this course are some of the heaviest I've ever played in. Basically, the front nine to this course is incredible. It's a journey. It's just a, it's a, a very unique experience. Then you go under a freeway underpass, and the, the back nine, which was actually built later, is really friggin' hard, and it's not actually that much fun. And I think the locals kind of know that. There's a lot of forced carries. It's very narrow. It's very tight. And then you go back to the regular piece of property on the other side. And it gets to be a little bit more fun. But it's still not that much fun. The magic of Sea Ranch Golf Links is in the front nine. Capstoned by three great holes. Seven, eight, nine, which you'll see in this vlog. There are houses at this golf course. It would take an especially badly hit shot to hit a house, but be aware of that. I would take 20 golf balls because you could very easily lose golf balls at this course. Any ball that basically goes off the beaten track will be a journey to find. This course is built for isolation golf. There's not a lot of people on the golf course when you're playing. It is very much a zen-like golf experience, and it's very much for a certain type of person who plays golf for experience. So I recommend this course, but I also wanted to preserve this course because I feel like this is a course that down the road could not get adequate footage of what it was at one time. So this is what it's like to go to Sea Ranch. You're driving along Highway 1 along rural areas and that big mountain is kind of like the symbol of the start and then this is what it looks like a lonely marked clubhouse you drive down and this is the sea ranch golf links this is what you're looking at this is the property and this is the first hole a par five that's a dog leg left and it sets you up for what the course is a lot of hazards to your right a lot of hazards to your left wind is whipping there is some of the marshland that you can hit into that runs all along the right side hat to the back because the wind is heavy and once again just kind of duffed it not very good moving the ball along so as you can see a fairly generous fairway but feels much tighter when you're playing in the wind than it really looks just a little late on that shot. Hit it to the trees. Definitely feeling the three-hour drive, no warm-up on this round. Feeling all of that. The bunkers here are made in designs that are rather unique Get to this it. course. This shot was underneath a tree. Got it in the air very quick, which was a bummer because I came up short. Really made this par 5 a lot harder than it probably should have been. And then... I hit a very good chip here. These greens are pretty darn good. They feel like how my brain envisions them to go. So that is a look back on the first hole. It's going to be a little bit longer video because this is an epic thing and it leads right into the second hole. Just a nice clear walk to the second hole. The second hole is a dog leg left about under 
300 yards. I guess you could kind of try to cut the corner and go for the green. I just took an iron and just tried to knock it down to stay in the fairway. Homes and a tree protect the green, which dramatically curves up the left. This is the shot up the hill I had. Had this iron and just trying to get adjusted to this course. You really have to keep the ball down at this course. So not the best effort, but once again, never played this course. And also kind of in awe because this had been a, something I'd wanted to play for a long time. And now I'm here playing it and we're seeing how it goes. There's my chip. And this kind of shows you how the wind will blow your ball. It, sure, it's a downhill putt, but watch how the wind takes this putt. It just pushes it and pushes it. And thank God I sank this for bogey because this would have been a tough pill to swallow to start out my day. Made it on the low side, got lucky. That's the second hole, okay? And we're going to go over to the third, which is a narrow, somewhat long par three, which, once again, if you were playing this for the first time, don't play from the blue tees. That one I missed out to the left. This is just a plain Jane hole. Play from the whites because the wind is such a factor. It makes the course play so much longer and the course is so narrow and tight that you really, really shouldn't play from the blues unless you know what you're doing. I ended up in these big, thick baddies over here and I wish you could see this shot. This was so good, but check this out. Check this out, check this out. Thought I hit a really good shot. It just was a little too much, but that was really, really good from where I was. And it just bounced on the fringe. I think that would have gone in, but I just didn't hit it the right pace. Still very good from where I was to go get a two-shot swing there. Fourth hole, a theme of the front nine of Sea Ranch. Short hole, very much about accuracy, very tight in the driving window, and then opens up somewhat, but there's hazards on both sides of the fairway. So if you like taking irons off the tee, this might be a course for you. Then I learned about how the wind affects your ball. The wind just knocked this. It wasn't the best shot, but it knocked it way over. So it didn't even have a chance this is what the green looks like on the fourth that one got knocked down by the wind not my best chip for sure the wind kind of stopped that and yeah that's when you say am i ever going to make a par at this course started out with all bogeys now we're over to this was a pretty cool hole this is a true for me uh, mackenzie like design it reminds me of pebble beach hole 16 or northwood hole number two you do have this thick link style rough on the left hand side which i'm giving you showing you the features of so if you snap hook it it's over there there are some houses but look at that how that's a feature of a lot of mackenzie holes and it's incorporated to this one the narrow tree line target that you have to fit it through super proud of this shot and the wind was going with me also a telemarketer tried to call my phone and that really had me in a mentally weird place in between this shot going up to my shot on the green so i hit that over the green had this chip and i got so lucky on this one so you'll see it really came out hot and it hit the pin and that's a par so that was a good feeling so that's looking back on that hole there's some bathrooms right there and then you walk on this trail the theme of this course is it's like going on a really cool hike so you go across this street and that leads to this par five didn't tee from the blue tees probably a blessing someone with from the maintenance crew was painting the tee box just to be nice i went to the whites and probably really helped my game out because i i hit a three wood it was fairly good if you play from the blue tees or if you hook it you have to carry that water and then this is a true three shot at least for me it was a three shot par par five even though the wind was with me it was very difficult to keep this one anywhere near the green because at, when you hit this shot there's water all along and then it's very narrow it doesn't look as narrow but it's very narrow as you get closer to the, to the green 
and you have to keep this ball in play with the wind throwing the ball wherever it wants. Third shot into this hole really hit that good and I just didn't play the right yardage. I hit the exact shot I wanted. I was one club short and I thought it was a red pin. Made par, didn't film it because my camera tipped over. This is more of the walk you get. So you, that hole leads to, I think, the most interesting part of the course, which is the seventh hole, which the seventh, eighth, and ninth is C C Ranch golf links are probably the most fascinating set of holes on the course. I ripped this drive, this uncharacteristic Lukey rip. So very, very narrow, very short par four all downhill. Really, really a cool hole. You can lay back, you can try to rip driver. It's just a fascinating hole. Once again, a theme of this course, it's incredibly tight. The video does not show you how narrow this target is. It's very, very tight. I really put this out there at about 40 yards to the hole, which is a really good shot. And then I hit a really good wedge in. And you can see I'm cheesing because I got out of the way so you could try to see that. But I put that up there pretty, pretty close. And then I had this putt for birdie and I drilled it. So shout out to my Sea Ranch Golf Links birdie. The signature hole at Sea Ranch Golf Links is on the front nine, the eighth hole. It's the only true hole that has a ocean view. And it is beautiful. It's a forced carry, which is a theme more so of the back nine, but Robert Muir Graves loved doing that. But this hole truly feels like you should take your significant other and they would love this hole because you go for this walk where mentally I was wondering, am I doing this right? Because you just walk and walk and walk and there's all these side trails you can go on as you look, do I take a side trail? And then you end up looking at the ocean at the end of this road. And that leads to this view of this green. So the eighth hole is to me, the Sea Ranch Golf Links experience. Hit that chip into the wind, definitely not my best effort, but this was pretty, cool that I was able to put this putting stroke on this ball and drain it as I've been putting a lot of effort into putting. The last hole on the front nine, the ninth, is a really, really difficult hole. Please heed my advice on this. There's the ocean view. You have to fit it around this corner and hit a slice or a cut. I took driver. That was totally the wrong play. You have to hit a specific yardage because there's a bunch of gunk so i'm walking down hogan's alley right here as you can see okay that looks fine but you either have two options for this hole i made the third option but you either want to lay short of this waste area which is about 190 yards or you want to hope you can find your ball if it goes in here or fly to the lower half i had a somewhat decent lie in this gunk that's in between the two fairways and just whacked it out then i had about a nine iron chip which i didn't fully get to the hole but it was very very difficult to judge that you can kind of see the two-tiered fairway in the back i didn't do a great job of that and i made a bogey on this hole thank you for watching this vlog i appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video this is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.